What's up, sissy? So I'm coming back with a new, brand new, fun and fresh video. And it's a very beginner-friendly clothing transformation. Aren't you excited? I know. Since I do want to make this into a two-piece set, I'm going to take two pieces that I like how they fit real good. So you see I use short, I mean, pants for the bottoms, but that's okay because I'm going to turn it into shorts. That's why half of the pants legs are hanging off at the bottom, but that's cool. Um, so yeah, I like how the, the bottoms actually fit because they are high waist. So if you do want high waist bottoms, I 10 out of 10 recommend just using something that fits you that's like, you know, high waist a little bit. So when you see me cutting, I'm not cutting directly where the clothing is. You see, I'm leaving a little bit of room. That's called seam allowance. You want to make sure you leave at least an inch away just because when you sew, obviously it gets tighter. So just make sure you leave you a little bit of seam allowance that you can fit a little, um, a lot if you can, if you can spare the fabric because it, it's always it's always better for it to be too big than too small. You know what I mean? These scissors were so freaking dull. It took me so long to cut this, sis. Like I was about to say, you know what? Never mind. Never mind on this project. But I knew y'all wanted to see something like this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just cutting around. Since this in, is a beginner friendly, uh, you know, little tutorial, I would recommend you just cutting this shirt with it already being inside out. And it'll make sense later on in the video. So just cut it when it's inside out. And, you know, keep it up, sis. Now I am cutting around. Nothing too hard. This is, I feel like, the easiest part. And then sewing actually isn't hard at all either. And you don't need a sewing machine for this product. I mean, for this uh, actual project. That's what I meant to say. You could actually hand sew if you'd like. If you want me to do a video on me hand sewing, it's super easy. Then I could do that too. But just in case you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to go out and buy one. You can always use, you know, you could just use your little, uh, just, just a hand. Just, what is it? A hand stitch. <laughs> And there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to hand stitch. Um, so just look that up, okay? One thing I can recommend, though, is when you are shopping for the shirt that you want to recreate, I would say try to stay um, with stuff that is actually stretchy because it'll fit you better and it'll be easier to make, too. Because if you do just like a regular t-shirt, which you can, like you can, you can do that. I've done it before, but it's just harder because... It, it won't stretch so you have to literally make it perfect to fit your body if not it's gonna slouch in areas or it's gonna be too tight you know stitch is gonna be popping so i would just recommend you getting something that's stretchy and it just you know it just makes the overall look look way better okay it's time to sew so i started out with the shorts and I just sewed the two sides together and you'll eventually see me pointing out where I sew it in the middle, so in between the legs. I also did a zigzag stitch um, since this fabric is a little bit stretchy, so if you do know anything about sewing, you know that you usually use zigzag stitches for fabric that is kind of stretchy. So here I'm just showing you um how it came out and this is the middle part that i will be sewing the in between the legs part once you're done with that part you just want to hem the top which is basically just finishing off um the shorts once this is complete you just want to flip the shorts on the right side so the seam should be on the inside now flip down the top part and put a line of stitches just to hem the top to make it look a, a little bit more clean since this fabric is stretchy. We didn't need elastic in the waistband because it stretches onto the top part. Um, I started by sewing down the sides of the shirt. Um, and honestly, if you're not too experienced with sewing, you could literally just sew down the sides of the shirt. Then finish off the straps and then you could wear it like that. I did a little extra and like hem the top part and then I also hemmed the shoulders. I mean the armhole thing that's what I was just showing you just to make it give just to give it a little bit more clean look but that's like that's literally optional so then when I was done with that I took two of the front straps and I sewed it together the other straps in the back of the shirt you can just cut those off the straps underneath the boob area was actually like very last minute if I would have been doing that from the jump I would have cut the top completely different, but it's okay because we can improvise, okay? The only reason why I added the strap at the end is because I kind of cut the top too short. You know, I got it a little under boobage. That definitely wasn't on purpose. I just cut a thin strip of fabric and I connected it to each side of the shirt. 
Um, this part is completely optional, like I said, and if you do plan on doing this and you are a beginner, I recommend you actually using a shirt that's already made like this so you can just cut it out from the jump with the strap already in there. So this is the shirt before. I think I really snapped on this project because this is it after. Like I said, the under boobage wasn't planned, but I mean, I guess it's a look, a look in itself. Um, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like these kind of videos? Let me know what y'all want me to make next. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.